Welcome back, new friends, to Challenge 4. This time we get a challenge from Koopa, and it's pretty interesting and fun because it's all about work, play, and every day. So, what we will do as a nail tech every day in Salon is working and playing with nail products. So, we are such boys and bees. Koopa's newest creation, the Enrich REX, is meant to give the client strong vitamin infused nails to fit for any type of lifestyle. So, curious what all about the new challenge? I show you now. We are working, playing, and we do it, just do it every day at NTNA. So, you can be the working bee or you can be the queen bee. So, check out how I made my design. Enjoy! To create an everyday nail set, I will create an almond shaped nails. It's just more wearable for everyday work. Let's start to shape up my nail form for my design. So I will choose a short almond shape. Do you ever been curious how the bees make these honeycomb designs? I think they are just out of the world. To make these honeycomb designs, I will use a gel slant one brush and I use the color Bordeaux Bay with some clearer one parts. I will give you a great tip as well because if you use less product in this shadowing technique, it will be getting more results. If you use too much product, you get a messy result. To really build up my color, I will use first the black pool with some clear and I use the nail art brush one to really give this bee the really fine lines. So I build up my color step by step. For the fine lines, I will just use again the nail art brush one. But a big tip for me to you is to use first the clear top gel in your brush, load them well and then just pick up little amounts of black pool in your brush. So you really can make these thin fine lines. Just make some highlights. Check out how I do this in the previous video of challenge 3. Being positive is the best way to start your working day and to be playing with all the nail stuff we get and just we do it every day. I will use the ultra clear to put up my wings for the bee. And I use the unraged sheer white to build up the body of my bee. And I infuse a little magnet inside so I really can put them on for the night shift. Marigold and the black pool for this little bee and I use a different kind of color variation so with some highlighting and some shadowing and don't forget to put on those gorgeous bee stripes to give my bee the really furry texture I will use the matte top coat to seal this little bee off I'll just make this little bee his wings really stuck to his body so cure it out with a little flashlight so I really want to create a real nail extensions for the night out so I've made up this fantasy shape and I just draw a line to a tip and I just cut it out with an eval use the ultra clear to put on my pin and it really likes it works like an anti-slip friction for this little tube so for stocking my nail extension I want to give my nail extension this ultimate golden wow factor. So it really is like with the gel top from Koopa I will use to make the create the honeycomb shapes again. And after that I will use some chrome nail gel polish. So I want to also create a pop on flower for my bees. So I created them with the sheer white of Unrich REX. So I painted them later on with a mix of the marigolds and some cream puff. 
I take them off with So I wanted to create more petals for my flowers, so I do that with some paste color on top with the marigolds in the white, I blend it together and I just cut it out with a scissor. And then just later on I can add them with the ultra clear to my flower. Just a little flash with my little flashlight. And I use also some mambo bead and some sheer white to the petals of my design, so I really will pop out the colors later on. And I use the mud top coat on top. Check out my results and it will be exciting! So thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed it and you are just such a busy bee just like I am and with a lot of positive vibes. So see you next week nail friends and thumbs up for my challenge!